When it comes to gaming, the mouse should provide as low a response time as possible, should be comfortable for long hours of use, and should be customizable for the individual. Here are the top four gaming mice in the market today. Getting things started at number four, the SteelSeries Sensei 310. The SteelSeries Sensei is easily one of the most underrated mice on the market, and it's hard to say why people rate it low. It features a sleek design, excellent software, and full ambidextrous support, which is more than a lot of newer mice can say. It comes complete with two sets of thumb buttons, RGB backlighting, and a more comfortable grip than ever before. The Sensei 310 is an ambidextrous mouse with two thumb buttons on either side, a clickable scroll wheel, and a dots per inch sensitivity adjuster in the center. All told, there are eight programmable buttons. The thumb buttons themselves are compact and easy to differentiate, while the silicone grip beneath each one will keep fingers comfortable and in the proper place. The contoured scroll wheel also prevents slippage, without the potentially obnoxious ridge design of some of the Sensei 310's counterparts. The Sensei 310 runs on the SteelSeries Engine 3 software, which is still one of the better programs out there for controlling gaming peripherals. Using the engine, you can reprogram buttons, create individual game profiles, adjust the DPI, control the RGB lighting, and more. You can also play with full RGB lighting for both the SteelSeries logo on the palm rest and the scroll wheel. Ambidextrous mice often split the difference and wind up being uncomfortable for both dextral and sinistral players. The Sensei 310, on the other hand, is incredibly comfortable for either hand especially thanks to the double silicone grips. At around 3.2 ounces, it's also light enough for use in eSports, which may be enough to help lefties break into the burgeoning, demanding scene. This is a better and updated take on its predecessors, and it sure feels like it. It has better performance, usability, and battery life than what came before it. It will be foolish not to buy these when they are $30 cheaper than the older ones. The Logitech G502 is number three on our list. Get maximum tracking accuracy from Logitech's most responsive optical sensor. Exclusive Logitech G Delta Zero optical sensor technology minimizes mouse acceleration and increases reliable targeting. You can switch DPI modes on the fly, choosing from five settings from 200 to 12,000 DPI, if you are someone who loves to have your gadgets fit you perfectly and will customize it to no end, then this is the mouse for you. Five 3.6 gram weights come with your Proteus Spectrum. Use some or all of them in the positions where you like more weight or less. This mouse can be tailored to your preferences. Adjustable RGB lighting lets you select from up to 16.8 million colors. Use Logitech gaming software to choose lighting color and brightness to match your style, system, or environment. You can also set your lighting to sleep when you aren't using your system. Logitech gaming software also lets you synchronize lighting patterns and effects with other Logitech G devices, so your device can display the same lighting and bring your gaming setup to light with breathing or light cycling light patterns. Playing surfaces vary, so you can get better accuracy by fine-tuning the optical sensor in Proteus Spectrum to your playing surface. By tuning the mouse to your surface, you get improved precision and responsiveness. The G502 Proteus Spectrum is pre-tuned for Logitech gaming mouse pads, G240 and G440. Add one of these mouse pads for extreme accuracy. You can program your favorite commands and macros to each of the 11 buttons. Select from thousands of profiles on your PC or save your setting to one of the onboard profiles. With Proteus Spectrum, you can decide the mode to use it in. Choose either hyper-fast scrolling or click-to-click -click precision. With this one, Logitech took the already excellent G500s and remedied its few flaws, leaving a product that's more streamlined and more robust. For this price, it's pretty hard to beat. Don't forget to take a look at the description where you will find more info on this and all our other featured products. At number two, we have the Razer Death Adder Elite. 
Elipid snakes, of which the Death Adder is one, first evolved and diversified in Australia roughly 12 million years ago. The Razor Death Adder mouse isn't quite that old, but this conservative, reliable mouse has been around since 2006. Every now and then, Razor gives the old serpent a refresh, and this time that update comes in the form of the Death Adder Elite. This all-purpose gaming mouse retains the sleek, ergonomic design and RGB lighting of its forebearers, while adding two small buttons beneath an improved scroll wheel. The peripheral is still 5.00 by 2.76 by 1.73 inches in size and ergonomically contoured on both sides, and it still offers textured grips for both the thumb and the outermost two fingers, but it has seven buttons instead of the usual five. A left button, a right button, a clickable scroll wheel, two thumb buttons, and two buttons just beneath the scroll wheel. The two buttons on the mouse's face are new. Such buttons had previously been relegated to the more expensive Razer mice, such as the Mamba TE. The Death Adder Elite runs on the Razer Synapse 2.0 software. This clean, navigable interface lets you program buttons, create profiles, and link them with games, alter the RGB lighting, calibrate the mouse for different surfaces, adjust the DPI up to 16,000, and many other features. The scroll wheel also has picked up a few coarse nubs, which give a better grip than on the previous models. With a more tactile and responsive feel, the scroll wheel revamp is a helpful addition. Synapse 2.0 is easy to use and intuitive, especially for users who have owned a Razer product before. In particular, the RGB lighting, which handles pinks, yellows, and purples with incredible fidelity. Some RGB mice have trouble displaying these colors, instead making them look like dim reds or blues, but each one came through very clearly here. You don't tinker with something that works and has worked for all those years. Same thing with this one. While two additional buttons for a refresh is a bit too conservative, there wasn't much wrong with this in the first place. This is one solid mouse for multiple genres of games. And at number one, top of the list is the Corsair M65 RGB Laser Gaming Mouse. The updated pricing and other information about this and all our other products can be found in the video description. The name itself speaks for the product here. Vengeance, as if it is some spell from a Harry Potter movie or a character from Game of Thrones. Actually, you'll be forgiven to think of it like that when you see it. It is full of cuts and creases that look stunning. The Vengeance M65 is a supremely comfortable peripheral with robust FPS optimizations. The Vengeance M65 marries form with function. Since hardcore FPS players need relatively few buttons to succeed, move, shoot, switch weapons, crouch, and jump, the mouse offers eight buttons, only two of which most players will really want to reprogram. The conservative number of buttons gives the Vengeance M65 lots of breathing room. The mouse is large and comfortable for both palm and claw grips. The textured pads on either side provide comfortable resting spots for the thumb and the two outermost fingers. On the thumb side, the Vengeance M65 boasts three buttons, two simple rectangular ones and a large square one with crosshairs on it. The two small buttons are the ones most players will want to customize. By default, the square button activates sniper mode. Sniper mode slows down the mouse tracking by reducing DPI as long as the player presses down the button, a feature that can be very useful when aiming through iron sights or using a sniper rifle. It allows users to customize almost everything about the mouse, including each of the eight buttons. The three DPI settings for each profile and as many individual profiles as desired you can assign individual keystrokes or functions to any button, program complex macros, set sensitivity to between 50 and 8200 DPI, test the quality of your surface, or even program liftoff height tolerances. Of particular interest is the independent XY DPI, which lets you set individual DPI levels for horizontal and for vertical movement. The sniper button is extremely useful, whether you are picking off enemies with precise rifles or simply surveying a faraway area for adversaries. It is easy to adjust DPI on the fly, and programming the extra buttons freed up our keyboard hands to focus on movement. With its inspired design, deep software, and stunning accuracy, the Vengeance M65 is the best mouse out there in the market. 
It has a huge FPS range and has a plethora of customization options. These are the best mice when it comes to gaming. If you benefited from this video and it helped to relieve some of the confusion you had prior to watching it, then like and share as well as subscribing to our channel.